some displaced Palestinians are venturing out of camps to visit what is left of their homes after the Israeli troop withdrawal. Many areas have been razed to the ground during bombing. Hingadari visited some of the streets and homes destroyed by Israel's military. I'm currently in the heart of Khan Yunis after the Israeli forces withdrew from the area after four months of endless violence. The Israeli forces were stationed here. We can see in the houses writings in Hebrew and leftovers from the Israeli authorities. The destruction is massive. These are Israeli writings and they are all over this building and we witnessed that a couple of houses have been also having the same words and the same drawings. They literally left their writings on every house they invaded and stormed in Khamunis. We don't really understand what these are written. Some people use Google Translate to understand the messages the Israeli forces left in their houses and on their walls. And we're also talking to some people. They're saying that they told, like, they told us that they do not even recognize their house and their neighborhoods from the amount of destruction. All of the streets are completely demolished. There are no streets anymore. It is converted into a pile of sand. Even the houses that are still standing, they are unsuitable for living, where it's obvious that there has been a, a lot of battling between the Israeli forces and the Palestinian resistance. The infrastructure, the infrastructure has been also deeply damaged in this area. Residents of Khan Yunis were forced to flee from Khan Yunis under gunfire, airstrikes, live ammunition, and they evacuated to the Dar al Balah and to Rafah. But the question is, are these people going back? And if they're going back, going back where? There is nowhere that's suitable for them to live. Some people are also still looking under their beloved ones that were trapped under the rubble. People in Khan Yunis have been witnessing endless violations by the Israeli forces. They were arrested from Al Nasser Hospital. They were killed and bombed. And now, after four months, they finally got the chance to go back and to check up on their houses. This is Hindul Khudari, Al Jazeera, Khan Yunis.